these are very simple things that I'm going to use. These are washers, so I stick the washer in there. I have my wire cutters, and so what you want is you want to cut off about double what you want the length of your um, wire tool to be. So my twisted wire is here, and I'm not using these to pull these under or cut big platters off the wheel, so this is about the right length for me. So I'm just going to kind of double that up here, more or less. They're easier to hold on to and manipulate if they're not too long. All right. Now, this is 24 gauge wire, and I use both 24 gauge and 28. 28 is actually um, thinner, so these will take off more clay, the 24 gauge, than the 28 gauge. So I just thread. I mean, you can do that without having that stuck down. That'd be easier. <laughs> and I just bury that thing in the hump. Because you're going to, you want to bury it because you're going to have to use pressure on your hands. So I'm going to dry my hands because they're sliding all over there. Now I'm going to hold my hands. Now the angle that you hold the wire will determine how tight or how loose the twist is. So if you get, want a really tight twist, you hold your hands further apart. If you want a really loose twist, you hold your hands closer together. And then you just Go like that. It's really easy. So you can get this wire at um, your local home improvement center, and um, you can get your washers at your local home improvement center. And people are always saying, oh, I need like dental wire. I need guitar string. You don't. Like, who cares? This is so inexpensive. Who cares if this wears out and you have to make a new one, you know? The great thing for me about these tools is that these are yours. Even though this twisted wire is going to be similar to somebody else who made this twisted wire, um, this twisted wire is, is actually unique in all the universe. It's not manufactured. It, I did it on my wheel. And so the twist is mine. And that's, to me, really important in my work, that even though I'm using these stamps, to make my marks, the clay, uh, when I push them out somehow because of my interaction with the clay, they become my marks. And um, the same with these wires. These aren't off a shelf in a store. So the marks that I leave behind with this wire, even though they'll be similar to other people's, they're actually not. They're really totally unique. And so I really encourage y'all to make your own tools. The dangerous part of this tool is this prickery end. Um, but you just take it, twist it through another washer, and then if, if this bothers you, if you're worried about this hurting you, you can just take a little piece of duct tape and wrap it around that end. And et voila, there is your twisted wire. Okay, so same idea. This wire's a little stiffer, so I try not to have too many kinks in it. And I'm looking at the rim, and I guess I'm starting about two-thirds of the way out of the rim. So I'm leaving quite a bit of, I'm leaving more clay on the inside than the outside. But you can see if you're going to cut off what, by starting at the rim. Okay, so there's, these are the diagonal cuts that I make. So all I'm doing is starting next to that other cut and then following with my thumb the line that I made with the previous cut. So those are, those are diagonal cuts, and those are some of my favorite cuts to make because um, anytime you put something on a diagonal, it makes it look livelier. So it makes it look like the pot is moving. So, but you don't have to go all the way to the bottom with these. You can stop in between, and you can get some interesting lines like that. You don't have to do a continuous line. You can zigzag and make some interesting things that way. You can combine those two. And you can be as um, crazy as you want with this stuff. OK, so I'm opening this up again. It's easier to start on these with the top than to, uh, to flare the top first, than to go back in and belly first, and then try to do the top. Because for some reason, 
working on the lip like this in the beginning helps stabilize the form. So then I'm going to come back in again from the inside out.